For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where you have this assembly right here and you have four forces acting on it. They want you to find the equivalent force and specify its location in the X and Y plane. And then take F1 is equal to 8K and F2 is equal to 9K. So, you know that the sum of the forces in the C is equal to negative F1 minus F2 minus 6 minus 12. And this adds up to be negative 35 kilonewtons. So the resultant force is 35 kilonewtons. And it's acting down somewhere in this plate. And we gotta find where. So the sum of the moments in the x, assuming clockwise is positive, it's important to assume clockwise is positive. You can assume the other way. This time you don't have a choice. So F2 times 20. That's the moment that F2 is creating times this distance 20 because it's 8 plus 12 plus 6 times 20 is the 6 kilonewton force times 20 plus 12 times 8. That is the moment created about the X and it comes out to be 396 kilonewton meters. So, since we assume clockwise is positive, this formula is true, so mx is equal to fr times the y. If you assume counterclockwise for the moments, then you have to change this to a negative for this to be true. But since we assume clockwise, this is true, so it's positive. So, just substitute the numbers, 396 is equal to fr, which is 35 times y. You solve for y by dividing 396 by 35 and it gets you 11.31 meters. Now, let's go to the, to the y to find the x. You gotta assume counterclockwise is positive for the y. This is important, you can only pick counterclockwise. And this is equal to f1 times 22. This f1 right here. And the distance from the y is 16 plus 6, which is 22, plus 12 times 6. This 12 kilonewton force, and it's a distance 6 from the y, plus 6 times 26. This is 6 kilonewton force, and it's at a distance 4 plus 16 plus 6, which is 26 meters. So when you add all this up together, you get that this is equal to 404 kilonewton meters. And since we assume counterclockwise is positive, m of y is equal to f of r times x. So we just substitute the numbers and this is 404, f of r is 35, x is x. You solve for x by dividing 404 by 35 and you get that the x coordinate comes out to be 11.54 meters. So this is the y coordinate, this is the x coordinate where this resultant force will be acting on the on this plate. Final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.